Election Day in the Saar to determine the future of the coal pit of Western Europe, German populated but economically linked to France. Today, Saarlanders choose between keeping their semi-independent status or rejoining the fatherland. Pro-German parties are barred from the polls, their followers urged to boycott the voting in this crucial election. The whole world watches the results, for at stake is the concept of European unity, resting on the success of the Christian People's Party and Premier Johannes Hoffmann. Only an overwhelming vote for Hoffman will spell true victory. Mass abstentions will strengthen Germany's case for return of this coal-rich area. History is made in this election, another entry in a record of Franco-German discord and conflict. Ballots are cast by more than 90% of the voters, a significant turnout. Nearly 400,000 favor the pro-French parties, that's three-fourths of the Tsar's people, producers of the major share of Europe's coal, registering their support of French policy and of the Schumann plan to pool continental coal and steel into an economic unit. It's a clear rebuff to German nationalism. <laughs> 